A very good morning to everyone watching this video. My name is Dr. Pudu Dhawan and today I will be talking to you all about why a chronic kidney patient should not consume dry fruits. With this, I will be also be explaining about the alternative that can be consumed by an individual suffering from chronic kidney disease instead of dry fruits. As a doctor, I am not surprised when my patient asks whether they can eat dry fruits as very few actually know about this. Dry foods are definitely not recommended to be consumed by chronic kidney disease patient under any circumstances. Let me tell you why. When the kidney is not working in a kidney failure patient, many essential processes do not take place in a regular manner. Kidney are basically responsible for removing excess water from the body. It also happens in regulating the level of sodium in our body, which if not done, can actually have a harmful effect on our health. When a kidney get damaged, these process starts to get hampered, which ultimately cause damage to the kidney itself. Their functioning start reducing, which can be seen in the form of symptoms that the individual will experience with time. Now, tell me, what happens with an individual whose kidney are not working properly and they consume dry foods? They end up consuming certain minerals that the individual's body will be unable to process because of damaged kidney. It is the primary job of a kidney to regulate minerals like sodium, potassium and phosphorus. The most dangerous of these three is potassium, which is present in almost everything we eat. But then, in this case, all of you might be thinking that how does a kidney patient eat anything at all? Let me explain. The problem is not the food that an individual consumes, but the damaged kidneys that are not able to function properly. On top of this, the concentration of potassium is way higher in dry foods as compared to the foods in its natural form. This is because of low water content in the fruit, which raises the concentration of potassium and other minerals, making it extremely harmful to a chronic kidney patient. Let me give you a small example to make things clear. Suppose I take 100 grams of grapes, the potassium level in about 100 grams of grapes would be anywhere around 5 to 6 percent. But as soon as you turn these grapes into dry resin, the weight automatically becomes down from 100 to 40 grams. The 5 6 percent of the potassium now has come into only 40 grams of dry raisins which increases its percentage levels, making it extremely dangerous. Even though my math is not very good, still, if I have to give a clearer picture in terms of the damage that these 40 grams of dry raisins can cause to the kidneys, the concentration of potassium increases from 5 to around 12.5%, which goes into the body of an individual. Now imagine consuming 100 grams of dry raisin compared to 100 grams of grapes. Increased level of potassium can lead to irregular heartbeat as well as a heart attack in a few cases, which is why I always advise my patient to stay away as far as possible from dried fruits. With this, all food item that is in the dried form is strictly prohibited and should not be consumed by kidney failure patient. These can reach anywhere from gooseberry, papaya candy, dates and pine nuts, all of which should not be consumed by a CKD patient. Moving on the main topic of today's video, if not dry foods, then what can a kidney patient consume instead? One highly recommended snack which can be consumed by a kidney failure patient is fox nuts. Now you can consume these fox nuts by slowly roasting them in a bit of oil or that they become crispy. If you consume roasted fox nuts instead of dry fruits, then not only will it not increase your potassium level, but the deficiency of necessary mineral will be also be fulfilled. With this, kidney filler patient can also consume puffed rice instead or of dry food as a healthy alternative. Even though it does not have a high nutritional value, it can be still be consumed as no kidney damage will be caused. Popcorn is another food item that kidney failure patient can consume. Still, my only advice would be not to use butter as it is not healthy option from the point of view of your kidneys. Now that I have told you about the consequences of consuming dry foods and the alternatives that you can consume instead, 
this means that we have reached the end of this today's video i hope everyone who watched the video till the very end got a fair idea of why dry foods should not be consumed by individuals suffering from chronic kidney disease but still if any of you has further doubt regarding anything i spoke about in the video feel free to leave your comment in the section below i will be happy to take them personally with this i take your leave for this time and hope to see you next time whether i will be talking about another exciting topic related to the kidney